Hey everybody, Christopher out here. Welcome back to the Wastelands. We are still trying to shut down the irrigation to halt the spread of the infection. Uh, we ran into Sue, the person that everybody was originally blaming for all these uh, concerns. And uh, now we've also got this other guy joining us, Honeydew Lewis, who can certainly handle himself. He was like one-shotting rabbits as they were running towards him. All these dead rabbits here. Yeah, that's his doing. It's pretty impressive. Um, and now we kind of got to figure out the rest of this area. So we're here. Looks like we've got a door here that we can enter probably this whole section. And then we'll go out and explore the rest of uh, this side. So let's take a look. We've got a lock on this door. Let's get Donnie in there. How are we doing for his... Uh... Okay, he's at zero. Sniper rifles are maxed out, but we're... we literally have no ammo. Okay, hold up. What do we got here? Mechanism of pumps and valves. This device must be a part for some larger machine. Okay. God, that explodes everything. It's crazy. How are these looking? Maybe treasure, maybe treasure. Pocket medic, I will happily take that. Uh, 38 cal. Let's leave that for now. Let's bring the others in. We can give that. Actually, let's just distribute it now that they're all here. Flow regulator. A small device constructed on belts and gears that once installed will shut down the generator. That works for me. Alright, cool. Uh, yes, this is another thing that somebody was pointing out and I think it's really great. If you right click, it'll actually show you which things can be used uh, in the hot bar. So let's just see if there's anything crucially important here. Not really. Not yet, anyway. We already have these. The shovel's there. The key cards. Matt's office key. The repeater units. And the trauma kits we use when we use our surgeon skills, so... It's all good. Alright, let's distribute that. Oh, sniper rifle ammo. Beautiful. And before we forget, let's have him reload it. I don't see us getting through here. Maybe, but... Nope. Okay. Head back out, guys. We have another way in there? Doesn't look like it. An inscription scraped into the t stone base of this makeshift tombstone reads, Here lies Harry the Bunny Master, reposing with rabbits. Okay. Creepy. Oh, can we actually dig? Something's... Yeah. Uh, this is going to be weird, probably. I just want to see if there's a trap or something. Well, it seems okay. Whoa! Harry the Bunny Master's axe, scrap, 38 cal ammo, deck of cards, and ruined overalls. Okay. Now, the question becomes, 
Found in Harry the Bunny Master's grave, this axe is rusted and pitted beyond use. But even you have heard stories about Harry. Maybe someone back at the Citadel would be interested in it. That's pretty cool. Harry the Bunny Master. Well, now I've heard everything. Okay, we've got a lock on the door. Maybe treasure, maybe treasure. Okay, more sniper rifle ammo. This is good. And some shotgun stuff. So let's bring these guys over. Okay. And did I take the shotgun shells? Yes, I did. Didn't mean to. There we go. Reloaded. Okay. So now... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. Oh, I hate these rabbits. Like, with a passion. Okay, Angela, you're gonna be... You're gonna be up here hitting them in the face. Donnie, I have no problem using sniper rifle ammo against these things. Mikey, I think we could maybe use to shoot... Hmm... If I put you right in between, you'll usually have a pretty good chance of hitting. Let's try this approach. Straight line, and then we have Donnie. Everybody down. Sixty-three. Come on, Donnie. Ah, oh, he missed it. Terrible. Go, Honeydew! Man, Honeydew is the shit. Alright, we may have to take shots at this one. Looks like there's four. Oh, nice crit. They're going to be too far away to actually hit us, so we actually have a pretty good chance at coming out of this pretty good here. Alright, so there's three of them in action right now. Um, I guess we'll just take these shots. Oh my god, nice. We're getting lucky with those crits for once. Well, there, there, there goes the luck. Now, can we animal whisper this thing? This is one thing that I haven't under I haven't tried, I should say, but it looks awesome. So let's see what happens if we can. Are you kidding me? Oh, really? We gotta get we gotta be a lot closer to him. Okay, well, we'll ambush for now then. Oh, I didn't even see this rabbit. Where'd he come from? Damn it. Come on, Rose. There it is. That's too bad, because I could have tried to uh, talk to that one. Or whisper to it. One of these is going to cause that ambush. There we go. Okay, I feel like there's a lot more than there should be here. Nine. One thing I don't normally use is headshot because it drastically reduces our chance to hit. So I'm not sure the best time to try it. This is the rabbit that's going next. If I could really damage that. Or I could try and kill this one, but crossfire is dangerous. I'm going to go for it. Nice. Now, 
Now, how come he's not one-shotting these guys? He was hitting like crazy before. Let's move Angela up here, increase the evasion and chance to hit. Cover actually has a pretty significant impact, it looks like. I just don't know if flanking has an impact. Like, if, if she only protected from this side, that's kind of what makes sense, but I don't know... Like, that's not the way that it reads explicitly. Oh my god, he is good. Okay, now let's try this. Nice. Oh, so he just Fs off. I, I like that, though. That's like a guaranteed. Well, I don't know how successful it will be long term. But. We need two to ambush. So if we go... Oh, there we go. Never mind. <laughs> Crushed it. There, that's the last one. Better check. Oh, he's taken off. Well, you know what? I'm actually super happy that he joined us. Can we go and talk to him before he runs off, though? He's going to check on his honeydews. Yes. Okay, because there was a couple of these things that we couldn't talk to him about previously. How goes the fight? Um, well... I'm going to tell you something here, Mr. Lewis. We know who's responsible for this. Larson? Good Rangers, I fear you may have abandoned your faculties. It can't be. No, it's, uh... It's... Yeah, he did it, and then he blew up. The devil, you say? That is simply incomprehensible. He always seemed such a sound fellow. Always had a good word to say about my melons. So where's the irrigation system control? It's in the shed on the east side of this enclosure. Get there as quick as you can and get that pump shut down. The regulator assembly is broken, so you'll need to find a new one in order to close it, which is what we have now. I know our mechanics keep spare somewhere, I just don't know where. I suppose you could also disable it in some more final fashion, which she did not want us to do. But I doubt Dr. Lawson will approve. Yeah. In any case, stopping it won't reverse what's happened, but at least it'll stop things from getting worked. That's true. What do you think of the Desert Rangers? I hate this question, because it feels like... very conceited. My opinion of you will rise if you save this place, that's for certain. Well, look, um, everything's safe on the way back, so you can go if you want. What? Me? Leave? Leave my precious melons? I'll die first. Go, rescue the others. I'm staying here. Spoken like a true melon farmer. Get to safety. That man has melons on the brain, but so handsome. <laughs> if only. Yeah, if only. Okay, what do we got here? Nothing, really. Okay, whoa, everybody, come on back. We've got a trap here, and who knows what else. Okay, assault rifles, have machine guns. Let's distribute that. And medic packs. Thank you. You know, I should consider healing a little bit here. Whenever I can buy medic packs from now on, I'm going to be buying as many as I possibly can. I don't think things are going to get easier as we go. That's for sure. A plastic garden, my little joke. Thought it serves as a reminder of how small we wanted to make our plants. Okay, just before we head out too far. Okay. 
Leonardo finds a lock. And what about this door up here? Oh, who's this? Poor guy. Looks like the bunnies killed him just for fun. Didn't even eat the carrots in his shirt pocket next to those crumpled post-its. Okay, here's the generator, it looks like. Crumpled post-it notes and sickles. Okay. The well-worn adhesive stationery has a few words scrawled on it. PW 72779673. Is that a password of some kind? Huh. Hmm. Interesting. High-tech security system in lockdown mode. How locked down is it? Well, it's not that serious lockdown. Looks like we got a few crates back there. Maybe a safe, even. Nice work. It's really hard to see in there, but... Got a working tumbler, electronic lock, maybe treasure. Just check for traps. Okay. Hello, sniper rifle ammo. Hello. Hey, the last history of the egg center. Awesome. <laughs> I don't know why that. I just feel like if we didn't get that, I'd be constantly thinking about not having it. Oh, where did I distribute that to? There it is. Now I've got the complete set. Let's sort that. Okay, but then things got a little weird. The fallout from the bombs was changing the wasteland in many ways, and Egg Center was no exception. Kathy tells me that the early farmers could have tried countering the mutations that were affecting the plants with selective breeding, but instead they decided to ride the wave of weirdness, selecting for bigger and hardier mutations to get better yields, which is how we've come to have tomatoes the size of cantaloupes and cantaloupes the size of beer barrels. For most of, the of its existence, the Ag Center was led by an old farmer everybody called the Old Man, though his real name might have been Miguel. He must have been a hundred when Vargas, Thrasher, Angela, and Hellraiser came a-calling, fresh-faced and eager to help. But why did the Ag Center need help? Well, mutations ain't just all roses and giant carrots. Around that time, the center was invaded by hordes of giant rabbits who were just as happy eating people as they were the crops. It was a serious problem, made even worse by the attacks being seemingly coordinated by some crazed old coot called Harry the Bunny Master. Swear to God I'm not making this up. And we found Harry the Bunny Master's um, grave and dug it up and found... Where is that piece here? Right here, his axe. It says somebody at the Citadel might be interested in it, so super cool. Okay, so let's try and get into this electronic lock. Oh, nice. Okay, so we've got another submachine gun. 38 cal ammo. Good, let's distribute that. Now let's head back over here. Okay, so this is a machine gun. Let's just equip this for a second. Kind of the same. 5 to 8, where the other one's 6 to 7, so it's a little bit more consistent. Less range. Yeah. I'm not that interested.
That's the Westfield pump gener generator. You'll want to find that some way to replace the broken flow regulator and slow it down. It looks like the regulator's friend is fried, but you may be able to override it using the control panel over there. Okay. Flow regulator is missing and the tainted nutrient mix is flooded into the irrigation system completely unchecked. If you want to stop, you either need to replace the missing regulator or find a way to kill the power to the pump. So, who has this thing? Let's add it to our hotkeys. I don't know if we need somebody with, like, repair skill doing this. Well, well, well. Nope. Color me impressed, Rangers. You've managed to shut down both fields' irrigation systems, and the growth is clearly slowing. We're not in the clear yet, though. I'll still need to synthesize a cure and get it into the irrigation reservoir before we can call it a day. At least you'll be able to get the radio dish up and running now. Head back up here. You can access it in the West Greenhouse on my level. Perfect. So now we should be able to get rid of all that overgrowth. Peter shuts down the pump and the flow of the tainted nutrients trickles to a stop. If you squint, you can almost see the plant starting to recede. Well, isn't that just dandy? Even though that does nothing now, I don't think. Uh, I, she did get some experience. And now all of those different areas that we were locked out of previously, we should be able to access. One thing I think would be cool is if you fail, your chance to critically fail should actually increase. Um, that would make a lot of sense. Oh, hello. I know we've got to call in some promotions here, and we'll do that. Sniper rifle ammo. Shotgun shells. All right, let's call them in. Copy, Echo One. This is Ranger. Echo. Congratulations, Echo One. Right on. So Mikey, he's getting up there. It's pretty impressive stuff, Mikey. Um, you know what? We have level four in hard. Oh, smart ass with him. Hard ass with her. I think I'm gonna take kiss ass here because. Uh, I'd like to have all three options available to us. That The conversation is really important to me. Oh, geez, there's another one in here. Hello. Okay. Well, now, as a test, let's see... Oh, God, not everybody. Jesus. All right, so that's how we can kind of ambush as a group. Just figured that out. 